Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another mukbang and a horror movie. I'm getting ready to watch Incarnate and I'm gonna eat some cauliflower rice with fried eggs. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have some yummy. Okay, so this cauliflower rice is herb and garlic herb cauliflower rice. And I made myself six uh, fried eggs and incarnate. I haven't watched this in a while. It's unrated. This is a possession movie and it says faith has failed us. Includes theatrical and unrated versions. Aaron Eckhart stars as Dr. Seth Ember, an unconventional exorcist who uses science instead of religion to tap into the minds of the possessed to remove the demon from their subconscious. When an 11-year-old boy becomes possessed by a creature of unspeakable evil, Ember enters the mind of the boy to attack the vengeful demon, but he finds himself facing the battle of his life and horrors of his own past. This movie is not only from Blumhouse Productions, but also from WWE, and it's uh, PG-13. Really good movie. You guys should definitely check it out. So to drink, I just have water, and let's get started. Oh my God, I haven't had fried eggs in so long with rice. Oh my God. Well, cauliflower rice, but... Mm. I used to love it before keto. I used to love my my fried eggs with rice. It's like a Cuban thing, really. Yeah. For some reason, <laughs> us Cubans love our fried eggs with white rice. <laughs> mm. I haven't watched this movie in a really long time. It's good. My mom though, oh my god, my mom makes the perfect fried eggs. Perfect. Because <laughs> I like them a little runny in the middle, not too much, but I, I like the outside like crunchy. Oh my god. I can't tip the plate over too much because the egg is running. <laughs> I don't want it to run out the plate. Mm. But yeah, I remember my grandma from my mom's side when she was still alive. She used to say that when she was pregnant, she used to crave, crave fried eggs with white rice all the time. <laughs> so my mom grew up liking, loving the, um, the fried eggs with white rice. And I did too. <laughs> All thanks to my grandma. But like I said, it's a Cuban thing. Huh. I know a lot of Cuban families that love eating fried eggs with white rice. It's so simple but so good.
Today has been a crazy day, you guys. The kids didn't have school today, so. Jacob has been quite a handful today. He gets so bored when he's home. Like, he loves school. So that's a good thing, but <laughs> it drives me crazy when he's home. <laughs> It's cool how the cauliflower rice like has herbs on it. I think it's parsley or something. So on my eggs, I just put a little bit of pink Himalayan salt and black pepper. I wish the, the egg white would have gotten a little crunchier in the outside. Because mm. I do like the egg yolk a little runny, but... But I like the outside be crunchy and this one didn't come out crunchy because I didn't want to overcook the middle because then the yolk gets hard right away so mm. so tonight's meal was super simple I'm trying to keep it simple lately I want to start doing a lot of eggs again, or meat and eggs. I've cut out all fake sugars. I'm not even having my coffee creamer right now. When I crave coffee, I just do like bulletproof coffee. So I put like one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of coconut oil, two drops of stevia, and maybe a little splash of cinnamon, that's it. I'm trying to stay away from everything that's fake sugars and my ketone strips have been so dark lately. I love it. I love being in like deep ketosis. I can tell that I'm still dropping pounds and inches and still seeing those off-scale victories. So it's awesome. And I'm hoping to, you know, hit another milestone before March 1st. Well, the festival is going to be March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, the Greek festival at our church. And I want to do a cheat day there one day. So I'm trying to accomplish as much as I can from here to there. And maybe hit like another milestone before I have another cheat. So <laughs> right now I'm being super strict. And I've completely cut out all fake sugars. I'm not even having my jello because I like to have like a little bit of whipped cream on my jello. So anything that's sweet or that has fake sugars in it, unless it's stevia, because liquid stevia is okay. It has zero everything, zero calories, zero carbs, everything. Yeah. Ooh, sorry but unless it's like liquid stevia I'm trying to cut out anything that has fake sugars and you know what it's not too bad because 
I love my sugar-free hazelnut creamer. Like, I can't live without it. But I've gotten so used to the, the butter coffee ever since I did that four-day uh, beef and butter experiment. It worked really good for me, and I actually started liking the butter coffee. So I'm going to stick to that one for a while. And I think once I finally hit that goal or that maintenance mode, you know, or a big milestone, I mean, like I said, I'm only 10, 11 pounds away from my goal weight. So once I reach that goal, then I could, you know, have my, my creamer again and stuff like that. But for now, I want to keep it as strict as possible, as low as possible. And I just want to get there because I don't want like an, a cheat to set me back so much, you know, so at least I get ahead enough to be able to give myself one day a treat, you know, and I'm really looking forward to that because that Greek festival at our church only comes around once a year. So, yeah, I'm going to have those Greek goodies. I want to have a gyro. I want to have spanakopita, which is like these spinach pies. Um, they have cheese ones also. They have these awesome meatballs. And meatballs is meat, but the way they do it is that they fry them in flour. So, obviously, that's not keto friendly. So, yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait to have that cheat because, oh, my God. And they do these awesome little... Uh, I forgot what they're called in Greek. L L L I forgot the name. Something with an L. But they're like these. They're basically these round little like fried donuts. And they put like some type of like powder on it. <gasps> like sugared powdered. Oh my god. They're so good. But yeah. <laughs> I'm not endorsing carbs and sugars. But <laughs> once in a while a cheat day is okay. And like I said. The Greek festival only comes around once a year. At our church so that's gonna be fun that's gonna be amazing that's gonna be super yummy I can't wait so yeah I'm working real hard from here to then so I can be able to give myself that treat and then the next day right back on keto <laughs> all right you guys well I am done with my meal I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang in a horror movie don't forget to check it out if you guys haven't seen it incarnate it's a really really good movie about possession and it's a little different from your usual movies about possession so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and as always if you are new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos and click on the description box below for a link to all my social media and i'll see you ghouls and goblins in my next video bye guys